That's gonna hurt. Kids, welcome back to the uh, music stop. Uh, if you've been here before, um, thanks for coming back. I appreciate that. If you've never been here before, well, welcome to the music stop. Uh, what I like to do on the uh, the music stop is talk about great music. Um, sometimes I do, let's say, lessons, <laughs> trying to teach the the infinitesimal. Is that even a word? The, minute amount of knowledge I know of actual music music uh, I would like to spread that along to other people um, to make their lives m more miserable I suppose uh, but but here at the music snob uh, what I like to do is I like to talk about musicians that I think are awesome and uh, today what I'm actually really kind of doing is reacting as, as the kids say to something I did not know existed now have you ever like say you're walking to work every single day the same way and there's a billboard and you just like whatever and then out of the blue one day you 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 look at it and you go well that's cool well that's kind of what happened to me when i first heard this what's that you say I'll put that up here. Now, I gotta tell you, I didn't like Skid Row. I've never been a fan of Skid Row. Never been a fan of Sebastian Bach. But when I heard this name, and I knew this name existed. I knew this person existed. But when I heard she was going to be filling in with Skid Row, I had to look at this. And I'm, I'm happy I did. You can't tell me that's not the best version of this you've ever heard. I, you can't tell me. You just can't. You can't tell me that. So today we're talking about Lizzie Hale. Okay, now I knew she existed. I knew uh, I knew she did collaborations with uh, Dee Snyder, who's one of my gods, uh, Daughtry. Um, and and uh, that's really all I knew. I knew Hailstorm was a band, and I knew they were, uh, let's say, new metal. Um, I, this is also before I, I knew about uh, uh, baritone guitars. Like I just, I'm just learning about this kind of stuff. The the, the drop tunings. It's just so. It's it's like a brand new world to me. Okay. Um, but I I knew who she was. I knew who Skid Row was. Um, I I just didn't care. And when I heard like Eddie Trunk talking about her, she she's gonna fill in with uh, Skid Row for a couple of days. I'm like, oh, that should be kind of cool. I it was like almost. In the back of my mind, I like to say it's the same thing as when I heard Sammy Hager was probably going to join Van Halen. Like, Skid Row by, by itself to me is, I, I know they're huge and I know people love them. And they have a legacy, a musical legacy. But it just didn't mean much to me. And I know the ongoing thing between them and, and Sebastian Bach, whatever, didn't really to 
didn't care. But Lizzie Hale, I knew who she was. I knew she was a good singer. But when I heard that she was going to be filling in, I had to check it out. And this chick is just, just awesome. If I was like 16, I'd probably have a poster of her on the wall. So um, not to be creepy, but at my age, you, you, you really can't help it. So anyways, now that I know who Lizzie Hale is and I know what Hailstorm is, uh, I think it's time to grab a camel and go on a journey, a musical journey, and discover the <laughs> incredible music of Hailstorm. Now, if you were here before me, if you were here before me, if you were a fan of, uh, of, of Hailstorm before I was, then you know this. I, I recently saw somebody bastardize this on a video. Huh? It's of course freak like me. And oh my god. That's that's, that's I, you know I I'm, I'm probably going to play it later. I'm going to play more of it later, but right now that's all you get. That's all you get. And of course you <laughs> if you're a fan, you know this. That's, uh, that's, uh, oh my God, this chick is an ass kicking machine. That's, that's what I think. Okay. Of course, you know, those, but, uh, do you know this? If you don't know this then you need to get on that camel and come with me as we explore <laughs> the beauty of the music of Hailstorm and Lizzie Hale. You, you, come, come with me. Come on. Let's go. What, are you, what else are you doing? Come with me. Now, of course, as, as always, I'm, I'm, I have notes that I, I probably got off the internet machine. But, you know, I'm not that smart. Um, I, I just, I had to find out just because that Skid Row thing, I had to find out more about this person. So here it is. Elizabeth May Hale IV. Is that, is that Quattro? Um, the fourth Elizabeth May in her family, I guess. Um, born on a farm in Red Lion, Pennsylvania. I'm not entirely sure where that is. In 1983. Uh, now, now this is why this is interesting to me. Now, I if you've watched any of my other crap, I, I whine and complain a bitch that good music is gone. Well, it's 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 being ignored. We'll say um, by the the next generation or whatever current generation. Um, but this this person, Lizzie Hill, I'm going to put it right there and don't talk about where my finger is. Is bringing it back. Let's say that. Let's say she's bringing it back. She's an ambassador for rock. She's uh, whatever. I'm just. I've already. I'm not in love with her, okay? But I do love the music. Anyways, uh, 1983, started taking piano lessons at five. And then the guitar. Now, see, that's why I did. I, I, I just assumed people would see me doing that and go, what a jackass. But if she, she did it, boy, the hell can't I? Uh, anyway, she got the guitar and uh, her brother, Era J? I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, was playing drums. At 16, she started taking guitar lessons. In uh, 1997, they formed Hailstorm with her brother playing drums and her father playing bass. Daddy played bass. As he sang metal. Uh, <laughs> it's an old reference. It's a Johnny Cash reference, but it'll do. So, Hailstorm. Uh... They began to get a little following. Um, they released two EPs. Um, and, and someone, uh, a fan of theirs on the website, kept referring to uh, Elizabeth as Lizzie. But L-Z-Z-Z. -Z -Z. That's too many Z's. L-Z-Z-Y. -Z -Z or if you're Canadian, L-Z-Z-Y. Um, and uh, a stage name was born. Worked out pretty good. Um, anyways. 2003, her dad quit. Josh Smith 
joined the band playing bass and uh and and joe hottinger hottinger on on guitar uh they signed a record deal in 2005 released one and done which was a live ep which had an early version of it's not you which we're going to talk about later now normally i would try to play stuff that's not as well known but since i'm new to this i'm playing Oh, well, they could have been singles. They could have been hit singles. I don't know. But I'm playing my favorite songs off this album really quick. This is I Get Off. Here's my reaction. Okay, that's a great song. But um, what is this came out in 2009? Now, Kelly Clarkson, when she was doing some of that rock stuff, sounds a lot like this. Now, I'm not saying who ripped off who, but right now I'm biased. Okay, I already I already played. I'm not bringing out the cowbell again. I'm gonna play a little bit longer. This this is such a great song. I got, uh, put a picture right here. Does she not look like? I don't. I don't want to date myself. Well, who would? Um, there's a girl on Star Trek 20 years ago. Played a Vulcan. I'll, I'll find her name. I'll put a picture up here. Oh man. Look up this video and tell me she doesn't look like that chick. Inside. Oh, that is a great song. Great song. And I'm going to play one more out this album. Uh, this is Bet You Wish You Had Me Back. And God damn it. Speaking about the Kelly Clarkson thing. This, oh god, what was the Kelly Clarkson song? Um, he ain't heels and eyes. No, already, I'm already gone. Sounds so close to me. Oh, great song. I'll bet whoever you're singing that to does. I'll bet they do. I'll bet they do. Uh, 2010, they released a live in Philly CD, which is just, well, it was, it was live, in, live in Philly, Philadelphia. You've probably heard of it. Um, 2011, that's where things, to me, got a little interesting because they, they released the first, first of three, uh, cover CDs called Reanimate. And they, they covered uh, Slave to the Grind by Skid Row, which, if this was a movie, and it probably will be at some point, uh, would be a little bit of foreshadowing, I think. Don't you think? I think so. Um, but, oh, God. I, I love this. Now, come on. I'm not even a Lady Gaga fan. <laughs> this is fucking awesome. This is fucking awesome. This is way better. If you're going to do a cover... Yeah. 
Don't give me two ways. Oh my god, you can't tell me this isn't fucking awesome. You just, you can't. It's not, okay, okay, okay. I am not playing a lot of this stuff. Because I think, I'm going to have to go out and buy a bunch of these things. Okay, I, I, we got two of the albums here. But I'm buying every goddamn one of these because they're so fucking awesome. Uh, I got them all in order. <laughs> I just, I like, this is... What, a week ago, I, I started listening to this stuff, and God, this chick is just awesome. And I'm going to play another song of this uh, Reanimate uh, covers album. Um, I love that she, she has, oh, let's say she's a music snob too, because, because she does, her, her stuff, it has a new sound, but it, it, it sounds like old rock, and she's doing well, this is a, a heart song, and I, and I like it better. This is all I want to do is make love to you. What else could he do? It just, it sounds like you know if you're a heart fan. You know this song. And you're probably like, eh, it's in the hand cover. It's Lizzie fucking Hale and Hailstorm. That's who. You know what? I, I honestly, when I was when I was doing the let's say research for this, uh, and I saw that they had all these uh, like little cover albums, I'm like, Gah. and honestly, it's it's like it's almost my favorite stuff that she's doing. It's and, and I, okay, and I keep saying Lizzie. I keep talking about Lizzie and saying she, the band. I don't want to be, like belittle the band. Hailstorm. There'd be no Hailstorm without Lizzie Hale, would there? Um, but. The, uh, great band, great musicians, but I'm I'm kind of focusing on her right now. I'm sorry. In 2012, the strange case of Hailstorm uh, came out, and it had uh, uh, oh god, love bites. So does she apparently, which is fine. Is this a reaction? Am I reacting enough? Should I be raising my fist or something? Oh my god, but the, the, but the album didn't. The album definitely did not bite. Oh my god. I'm not playing in order, but here's to us. Here's to you. Here's to me. No, here's to us. It's all inclusive. Don't be offended. We could just go home right now. Or maybe we okay, could yeah. I already said Kelly Clarkson has similar similarities, but come on. Pink? Come on, think about Pink. I think Pink has got a little of this going on.
Oh my god, come on. Ugh, go buy this. You know, there's so many there's so many great songs. I'm trying to cut some out. But how can you? I miss the misery. I understand that. I gave it stripper. Huh? Arena Rock at its best. I feel busy now. Oh my god. Alright, so... Oh god, what a great album. 2013, Reanimate. 2.0 came out and it had uh shoot the thrill by ACDC gold dust woman by Fleetwood Mac and oh god I play I played a little bit of this already I'm playing more I don't care I I dug I dug the Daft Punk is that right can you say you dug but this I think it made me doing the Will Ferrell dance I don't give a shit Is that, is that what you do? I don't, I'm, I'm an old white guy. What do I know? Oh my god, this chick. This band is the shit. And then you have that, the palm muted thing there going on. Oh my god. So 2015. Jesus. You know, all the stuff I do is so old, I'm, I'm stunned that there's something this century. 2015, Into the Wild Life. Uh, I gotta I got play Gonna get mine. Oh my god. This could have been done in the 80s, could have been done in the 70s, but it is blatantly now. I missed this stuff the last 20 years. Now, are there not... I like, oh, God, I'm assuming they're playing arenas. I'm assuming they're playing big venues. And everybody's got their... Well, do you even have lighters anymore? You just turn on your phone, right? You turn on the phone light and you... Or you're just standing there recording it like a jackass. There's a second song I'm going to play. I like it heavy. So she likes the fatty. Oh my god. Sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. That would include me. Uh, that would also be me. Blues riff too. It's just great. When you can breathe new life into something that's been done a million times. She has a foul mouth.
Now, I don't know. Maybe I'm reading between the lines, but apparently she likes it heavy. That's that's the gist I get. I could be wrong. All right. So, ooh, 2017. Reanimate. Twa. Point oh came out. Uh, they had uh, White Snake. They had Metallica. Um, but I, I'm, there's two of these. I just, oh my God. Another song. I never liked this song when it came out 20 years ago. Uh, damn. I wish I was your lover. Sophie B. Hawkins. If you're going to do a cover, do it better. I almost want to actually listen to the original now, but I'm not going to. <laughs> oh my god, come on. Have you, have you bought this? That is, that is just the the, sh the shit. Is that that's the word I'm looking for, right? Is the shit. But what about? Oh my god, this is so. Now this speaks to me because I love Joan Jet. You know this is it. I hate myself for loving you. It's it's, it's familiar enough to drag you in, yet. Oh, it's just, it's fucking great. thing about this that bothers me is there hasn't been a 4.0 reanimate yet 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 um, hey lizzie if you're watching <laughs> no you're not <laughs> please do a fourth one so 2018 vicious did i call the other ones up? vicious that's the name of the album vicious and uh a couple of singles do not disturb which is a great visual a great title, and I, I don't know how many people probably thought of this before, but just didn't come through with it. Now it sounds like Nickelback ripped this off. Come on, come on. they ripped everything off. Uh, I love Nickelback. I love that little the palm muting thing in the back. Be thankful I'm not playing guitar again. Or guitar. Oh my god, what a great tune. Like ugh. I, I don't even know what to say about just great musicians. Like all great musicians. Uh I gotta play this the silence. It's one of the ballads on the on the on the album. It, it, it's almost unexpected from what I've heard so far and what well what I've put up here so far. But. Mm -hmm. 
what a versatile vocalist and, and, and musician. Like I've seen other videos that are just playing piano on stage and I have nothing but respect. I say admiration. What do you want to say? I, I hear Pink in this, I hear Kelly Clarkson in this. I hear every good vocalist ever. see her powerful on stage commanding the room like Freddie frickin Mercury that oh my god that's gotta be an open tuning guitar it just sounds so cool it sounds so cool 2022 released back from the dead and this uh, I'm playing this I'm playing it. Back to the Dead. Uh, one of the singles. Ah, oh, what a great tune. What a great tune. Just to wake you up, kick you in the nuts, or, or the beans. People up in there. And get you back into this. Yeah. I'm looking at my computer. <laughs> I don't want to stare here like this. A little creepy, don't you think? Oh my god, great album, great songs. Like, uh, I I'm playing this. Uh, Wicked Ways, which I wish I could play all the albums. Oh, I wouldn't. wouldn't dream of it. Yeah. it? You know what? Uh, uh, you know what? The other thing is she she can do that that scream vocal that that some of these uh, new metal thrash guys have to get a guy to do. She can do that. I, I got it covered. Don't worry. We don't need anybody else. On this. I can play guitar. I can play piano. I can play, uh, I can do the screen thing. I can command the stage. Surprisingly, she's not, <laughs> she's not up there playing a double kick. I, I'm stunned. I'm going to play this. Okay, I, I, I'm going to stop it right there. Because i got to go into this. The, this song is exactly... Uh, if you're into metal, you're all about the, uh, the horns. So dumb I am. And to take a song. She wrote the Raise Your Horn song. Has anybody else known? Sure, you're doing this shit. I'm doing it wrong, but she wrote a song about it. She, oh, oh god, I don't even know where to stop. Another anthem, please. Oh, well, we got one. Again, like I didn't, I, I, 
I ignored this person, we'll say. It's not like she gave a shit that I ignored her. But I didn't know for 20, well, 15 years that this was a thing. And um, I, I, I feel shortchanged. I feel like I was ripped off. I'm kind of pissed at myself for not paying attention to Lizzie Hale before this because I missed out on all this fucking great shit. Uh, that's, uh, that's the last thing I'm going to play. And I've already played part of it. I ruined part of it at the start of the video. Um, but just, I love the build. I love the keyboard build. And then that baritone. Oh, that shit. And, and she just, she sings incredibly. She screams incredibly. Oh, God, this band is awesome. Freak like me? You don't want to be a freak like me, that's for sure. Her, I would understand. Because she's actually kind of cool. gotta say i know that that she everybody in rock loves this chick and it, and worships adores whatever respects it's all about the spec you know what i'm saying respect um the fact that d snyder redid his christmas song that celine dion did um with lizzie hale somehow that didn't wake me up um daughtry who i'm not a big fan of when he did uh um the journey cover um separate ways and oh let's get lizzie hale to do the other part to make it a duet and I'm like oh, that's cool and somehow that didn't wake me up but now you got skid fucking row hey lizzie we lost our vocalist and we'd rather rather than suck it up and say hey sebastian come on back because we've gone through 12 12 other vocalists hey could you do a couple dates and and luckily she did because what I've seen, <laughs> I would honestly go. I would go see them. Uh, I, for the first time in my life, I, I want to see a Skid Row concert. And I know there's some on on, uh, on YouTube. Um, so find them, watch them. Go, if, if they do another show. Now, she has said she's open to it. And I'm sure they're open to it as well. Um, can you imagine the juggernaut that that would be to have her singing uh, she takes every song that she does she brings it up a little bit higher um i don't think anybody else could do what she's doing and um yeah i'm not begrudging sebastian bach or, or any of the other i don't know how many vocalists that skid Row has had before um but this uh, this girl just uh, she's the shit that's, that's that's all I can say. Uh, to be a music snob, and uh, I, you know, I only like certain things. Music snob. I only like certain things, but now I'm 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 uh, let's say being open minded about certain things as well. And and when I open my ears, my eyes, my heart to 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 listening to her doing the Skid Row thing, and I just open up another door to more awesome music in my life. And uh, thank you, Lizzie Hale. For that so anyways if you made it at this point i would i would appreciate it if you would like perhaps or don't dislike the video for god's sakes please don't please don't do it please, <laughs> please. i'm begging you like the video uh what's the next one <laughs> Subs oh, i need subscribers i got no friends uh subscribe and uh, don't forget to share okay and then, uh, you know, leave a comment, please. If you have somebody you would like me to do, uh, uh, oh, before I continue, when you, when you leave a comment, please don't be a dick. <laughs> I don't see the point. Don't argue about it. We're all here. If you're here, we're all here for, for the beauty of 
the music, the and and this chick is incredible. So what can we say other than it's awesome? Let's all just agree that. So if you have a, a comment that maybe you could explain something to me, I don't know about Lizzie Hale or 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 tell me another great musician to do a show on, do a a, a video on, please. Uh, otherwise, you know, be a music snob like me. And, and then you know, thanks for watching. And, and stay tuned. I don't. God knows what's next. Thank you.